Simon Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Capricorn, for your Oracle advice, we have quiet. And on the flip side of this card, it reads, turn off the noise. Silence nourishes the body, mind, and spirit. And quiet is paired with the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So, this is pretty simple. Quiet time will help to bring in peace within. And it will help to realize to surrender the outcome. Or it should help to realize, or maybe that's what you should focus on, surrendering the outcome so that uh, the universe can truly get to work. And it's just saying that it's best to do this with quiet time or to practice a lot of quiet time. Turn, like turning off the noise, complete silence. It will help to nourish the body, mind, and spirit. And help the universe get to work that much faster. Get to work on you. So that's what we have for your Oracle advice. Now let's get to what you came here for. And that would be uh, the recent past. So, sorry about that. My cat was scratching at the door. <laughs> I was trying to make it seem like nothing was happening, but I, I guess you could tell I had to step away. But anyway, sorry about that. My cat had, um, he would cause a lot of controversy if he came in on your reading, so I had to lock them out. So let's get to it. So the recent pass, we have the strength card. And then it's paired with the five of cups. So Capricorn. Strength. In the recent pass, it would have been important for you to meditate and contemplate and probably spend some time alone even if you were in a committed relationship and you had a lot of kids. So, it would have been important for you not to allow yourself to spend time and preoccupation and fear. Outward things, things on the outside, they would have been going pretty good for you at that time. But what would have been most important was keeping your head on straight in the recent past. Not only did you have the ability, but you had the responsibility to do so. So you needed to conquer any fears that you had and control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you were trying to do at that time. Now when the the strength card talks about love and relationships. Um, love should have been going pretty well for you at the time. And if you were committed, it was probably a strong relationship and mutually supportive and beneficial. If you were single and looking for someone at that time, this would have been a much better than average time to meet someone. You probably were in a self-confident phase with the strength card. So it was important for you to get out there and socialize, mix and mingle. You might have been very pleasantly surprised by how things worked out. Or that's what you did and you were surprised. Now the strength card is paired with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups... It's a card that reminds us where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives 
and how well it works for us. So you probably found yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? Because the implication was probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? Now I say this because you needed to watch where you put your focus and you need to make sure your focus was for your highest good at that time in the recent past. Now when this Five of Cups talks about love and relationships, you probably were in the process of ending a relationship or, or just end it. But you needed to realize that all was not lost. You were probably not yet ready to move to a new relationship. So you need to give yourself some time and space and get back out there. Because there would, there would have come a day or there, there did come a day when you realize that the reason the relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really want it to be. Which is in a relationship that really worked for you and worked well. So, for your recent past, Strength and Five of Cups. Is, it was about conquering any fears in the recent past. Uh, and practicing self-love. You probably had a lot of self-love if you didn't need to practice it. Unconditional self-love and self-respect. And you also needed to remember... Um, what you put your focus towards and to make sure it was for your highest good. And that would have brought you in a, in a lot of strength. Now if you focused on crying over spilt milk, you would have lost a lot, mentally and physically. But being that you had the strength card, um, you conquered these fears and you didn't look back and you didn't cry over what was lost. Or that's what you should have done, Capricorns. So that's what we have for you in the recent past. Now let's move on down. Let's take a look at the present time. We have the Seven of Wands, and it's paired with the Five of Swords. Now the Seven of Wands, you could find that you're likely to come out on top of any type of competitive situation. Things will probably be going really well for you for a lot of you Capricorns in March and you should be feeling really good in your projects they'll be moving right along you may still have some regular moments of self-doubt though but with the seven of wands now is the time it is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway also don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Yeah, you see how he's standing? Uh, looks like he's out. He's up in the clouds or near the clouds. So maybe he's uh, maybe he's mountain hiking or something, and he's just standing alone. But he's he's independent and he's his mind is strong. And it looks like he came out on top of some competitive of some competitive type of situation. And that's you in March. Or it could be around the end of March, it could go into April in April. But something is um going to bring you out on top. Something maybe you're trying to work towards something. And um that's a good thing. Now let's pair with this Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords, you could find that you got some mixed feelings, maybe about life or some people in particular. So don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word. Don't, don't speak every word you're thinking and feeling because that could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close friends, intimate relationships, with your friends and lovers. So make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it 
even if you know they deserve it. And you got to pick your battles at this time. But because it's with the Seven of Wands, you're going you're gonna to come out on top no matter what the situation is. Um, so for your present time, Five of Swords and Seven of Wands, you got some mixed feelings. There's some conflict with maybe um, a family member, a lover, a co-worker. Mixed feelings and conflict. It could be some... Um, Oh, some abusive words, uh, some hmm, uh, maybe some fighting, arguing, arguing. But conflict is going to be in your picture for March, and it's going to cause you to think twice about these people. And you might just want to cut them out, cut them out. Uh, but whatever happens. Just know, like I said, I'm going to repeat this. You're going to come out on top of the situation. And you'll probably do it because you're going to cut out a lot of things. You'll make the situation right. That's for sure. That's what he's doing down there with those two swords in his hand. He's cutting out a lot of things and making it right and making it work for him. And then he comes out on top. Of whatever the situation was. And um, you'll be moving right along. And feeling really good. So kudos to you, Capricorn. You cut it out, and you're standing tall. Your your thinking is is on point, and um, yeah, you don't have you don't deal with that anymore. Whatever it was. So well, let's move on over. Let's take a look at your challenge. We have the magician and temperance. Now, the magician. It is a really good card in the tarot. It's about new beginnings and great expectations. Uh, it's about remembering that you have the power to make a difference in your life and in all other aspects of the world. As a magician, yeah, you could do that. Um, you will not have it all handed to you on a plate but as this magician you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself the magician is all about action remember that that's the key if you do nothing at this time you'll get nothing and if you don't know what to do then make sure you do something because Anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you will not get. Now, this, this magician is paired with temperance. Temperance. All your relationships, they're likely to be going really well. You may need to look at some deep personal issues, though, and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, work through them, integrate them. The ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance. Temperance is about balance. Finding balance in yourself, in your relationships, with your goals and aspirations. So your challenge, the magician in temperance. You need to find balance. Um... Magician, you might want to use the, the manifestation powers that you have. That's what you have at this time in March. Um, use these powers to balance out whatever could be, uh, whatever needs to be balanced out. Maybe, like I said, maybe some deep personal issues. Um, it seems like you might need to find peace within yourself. Some type of peace within yourself before you can have peace in other areas of your life. So something needs to be balanced out. You could feel guilty about some mistakes you made in the past. And it makes you feel in balance. Uh, if that's the case, you need to forgive yourself and let it go. Because that's the only way you can truly make progress. So, 
Yeah. You got these manifestation powers, which is good. You can make a lot of stuff happen for you. But if you let these um, personal issues stand in the way, you might find yourself um, doing nothing with these powers that you have. Because you can make a whole lot of difference in your life at this time and create a lot of new beginnings and great expectations for yourself. But you got to remember, if, if, you can, if you can't balance out these issues that you have, personal issues, then you might, you might just lose at this time. But you don't want to do that. Like I said, if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. So it's about, actually, it's, it's about working. You got to put in the work to uh, get these great new beginnings. Um, but you have the power to do it. Magician is all, all about manifestation powers, and that's what you have. But you, you got some personal issues you need to deal with first so that you can create and, and manifest um, for yourself. So that's what we have for the challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the outcome. We have the Four of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's all about money and finance. Well, the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. Um, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to, Capricorns. Look carefully. And you may need to look at whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Because the Four of Pentacles is about anxiety and fear. Money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. Um, the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. If you can see in the picture, this man is grasping. He's, he's on all fours. He's got his hands and his feet on his on his coins. And his eyes look like, like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. So you could, you could be feeling that way in March. This Mar well, this is March. You could be feeling that way soon. Or maybe towards the end of March, something's got you grasping and clinging in a really unhealthy way. Maybe it's a relationship. Um, maybe you're trying to control someone or a situation. But it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles says that you have a whole lot to be thankful for. A whole lot. The Ten is the tops. Um, your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, they'll all be going really well for you. In March, could lead into April. You want to consider how you got to such a very happy situation and make the best of it. And share with your friends and family. Even a kind word spoken to someone who needs it. Uh, and I say that because you, you know we get back what we give out. So right now is a very happy time with family, friends, and finance. Pentacles is money. Your health, all those things should be going well for you. That's what the Ten of Pentacles is about. And like I said, if it's not now, then maybe it'll lead into April. So basically for your outcome, Four of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles, um, things are going well they're looking better than they have in a long time with this ten of pentacles it's a very happy period it's going to be if you're in a relationship it could move to the next level engagement childbirth marriage very very happy time with the ten of pentacles um but you could be you clinging to something uh, not all of you capricorns but a lot of you it's just, it's just reading is saying is showing that you're clinging on to something in a very unhealthy way. You need to relax and let go of 
this unhealthy clinging. If it could be, be clinging on to money in an unhealthy way. Um, so it's creating an anxiety and fear. Maybe you're clinging on to a lover in an unhealthy way. Um, so just be careful of that because you're really into, you're really set up for a really good time. A uh, happy period. Yeah, with this Ten of Pentacles. And you might just be trying to cling on to this happy, great, wonderful time because it, you haven't um, had it had it in a while. I mean, an overall great period. It's a, you'll have a lot to be thankful for. So maybe you'll be clinging on to this time period in an unhealthy way, to this wonderful time period that's coming up. Something you're clinging on to. So you just want to be careful with that. So basically, um, this reading is just, it's a, it's, um, it's a little diverse. You got some anxiety in the present time, but you're cutting it out and you come out on top. Whatever anxiety that is, it could be a work situation. It could be something with your spouse. But like I said, you got those two swords and you're cutting it out and and you're going to um, be standing tall and strong and you'll handle the situation, put it that way. And then you got these manifestation powers. But for you to use them, you got to balance out some personal issues you got here. That's going to be your challenge. And yeah. And then this grasping, we just talked about that. And it could be, like I said, you're just grasping on to this thankful period that you have. Because your money is going to pick up in a really good way with this Ten of Pentacles. When you hear tip, when you hear Pentacles, that means coins, money, finance. And it's going to pick up in a really good way. The Ten is the tops. So your family, your health, all those things will be... Um, taking off in a very positive way. It's going to be a happy period um, once you deal with whatever you're clinging to. Uh, and just practice some quiet time. That was your advice for from Oracle. To help bring peace within. And maybe that would help solve some issues that you have with clinging. Have with clinging. Have with clinging.